Hey guys, it's the Deem, aka Sportscore, and welcome back to another video. So for this video, we are going to be talking about how we can add a backplate render of this car. Yep, as you can see, I have a Corvette C8, and yeah, I'm going to add it to this render plate. So it's a very simple and short tutorial, but it also needs to like, like a full understanding of like how to do it. But like I said, it's short and simple, so without further ado, let's jump right to it. So here we are in a new project. Let's just select hit A and delete everything. So let's add a car, all right? I have a Mercedes C63S. So let's go ahead and start adding a camera. There we go, just pos position it like anywhere really. So we are going to add a backplate image, or I should just say like a simple image, like a background image. So you click on the camera, right? You click on a camera, you go to the background images here, check mark it, add image, make sure that it's on image, um, hit open, and find the image where you saved it. It will be the link in the description so you guys can check it out. All right, and let's go to the render viewport. As you can see, this looks bad because there's no lighting, no position, like it's just all bad. So this, so I'm going to turn this thing on GPU. All right, so at the film, right? Click transparent and transparent glass. There we go, just like that. And let's go to the Blender Kit add-on and then go to the Find HDRIs, um, hit Cloudy. And I am using this one. So let's position it by using camera to view. So now we can view it like this. And so this photo, right? This looks like for the focal length, I would say at 40 depending on your photo, but 40 seems like a pretty standard to me. So let's see. All right, and let's add the shadow. So shadow is very simple. Shift A, mesh, scale it a bit. And then object properties, visibility, shadow catcher. There we go. And let's use this. It's your properties, hit new, and put it to black. So now you have like a nice black shadow and this looks so good already. Make sure that roughness, if you put it out like this, it's going to give a bad reflection because street does not reflect. So you put it at the max because desert in this photo is dry. So the roads are also dry. Or you can set it at, um, let's see, like 0 0.8, but this is nice already. So good. Another thing is that for this camera, right, the image, you can set the opacity at max. So this will definitely help you a lot. And look at this. This is nice. This is so nice. All right, so the car is a bit too big on my screen, so let's make it small. I'm doing like this. All right, there's something like this. I just changed the camera position. Oh, and don't forget to save it. <laughs> so let's save it. And let's do some render settings. So let's go to the view layer properties, click denoising data, go to compositing, use nodes, 
shift a search up for denoise so noisy image to image denoising normal to normal albedo to albedo so yeah and color management put it at standard so now we have a nice colorful look of that car all right good and let's make the windows a bit tinty so let's make it darker glass make it black there we go just like that perfect and the render settings again i will put it at let's see maximum samples um let's put it at 100 there we go perfect and let's render all right now we have a car with a transparent background so let's go to image save it to your desktop or anywhere really all right now we go to photoshop all right so we're on photoshop and um yes you do need this photo to open with your photoshop and that's out of car. So this is kind of like a weird placement. Um, however, it is good to like move it around. Maybe like change the size a little bit, you know. Let's go to filter. Camera raw filter. Let's just raise the clarity a bit. Just like that. Raise the texture and kind of dehaze it a bit. There we go. That is so good. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have like any questions, you guys are welcome to message me on my Instagram, which will be in link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have like any ideas for the next YouTube tutorial, let me know or message me on my Instagram. And yeah, guys, peace out.